Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here, and welcome back to our Minecraft Survival Let's Play. Now, it, I, I'm aware that... That's totally not creepy at all. Uh, so, I'm aware that it has been over a month now that I have played this game. Solo, of course. And I figured now would be a good time because I'm pretty certain Minecraft is still going out and about popular, so I'll keep the series going as long as that's about. Try to see as far as I can go. But also, the main issue is that I did have a different video that was going to be going up today, but wouldn't you know, my audio turned out to, for some reason, not pick up during, like, after a certain section in the beginning for the entire video. So I'm stuck without a video, so that's why I'm doing Minecraft. Because we can always rely on good old Minecraft to bring us about. And actually, it looks like my wheat is finally done. It's finally grown through. Let's do that real quick. Now, I actually had to remember what I did in the last episode, so I could get a better idea of what I was going to do. Let's go ahead and lay these out. And I think I'm going to focus this episode more on exploration probably so I'm gonna be going around the area see what there is gonna be going underground a bit more not just to get coal and iron so we'll see how that turns out as always I'm excited for what comes next I've got something very special planned for um for Friday this week so do stay tuned for that but if you guys want to see me continue my minecraft shenanigans then do please leave a like or do something, please. I don't even get comments for my videos. I need to know that you guys are supporting me somehow. Because that's kind of important being a creator here. But all that aside, let's get moving. So, how are you doing today, old lightning? That's right, I don't have a name tag for you yet. So, time to go exploring then. This ravine has always been here, so I guess we can start here. It's not really a ravine, it's just an open cave system, I guess. So... I... Okay, I do have torches on me, never mind. I was about to say, I don't think I have any on me. Let's see where this leads. Absolutely nowhere. Okay, I don't need these torches. I feel like I've done this before already. Gone down this specific path. I could probably start my mine in here or something though, because I haven't started an official mine created one yet, so that might be what I do there. I also don't know what to do for that for my top room there. Sorry getting night. Um Alright, so this is where I first started, so there's more coal. Always a nice welcome sign, but we're gonna be trying to go a bit deeper. And also explore what's around the forest. What else is out there? Because there's infinite wonders out in Minecraft. It's not just where it's at home. I just try not to get lost. Which is a huge factor. It's so expansive that you can get lost very easily in this game. So that's something I always try to steer away from. But hey, you gotta live a little sometimes, you know? And there's still tons of coal here for some reason. This is gonna take me forever. Oh, I can pawn some more iron. Awesome work that going okay I did grab it. I would say it did glitch or something because I didn't see or hear it get picked up and I do have a headset with a mic that I can use a completely different one from like the videos that you've seen before that I've been recording on my computer but it doesn't seem to want to work so it's just me doing this about normally which is fine I don't mind I just think it would be cooler if I actually had the microphone. So... This is as deep as it goes, it would seem. So I've gotten everything. Over here, at least. There's probably more cave that way. So that's where I came in from. I think that's a way up. And this... And look, yep, I've been here before. Okay, so there really wasn't much to explore in the caves. Oh, but I did find some more iron, so that's always something nice. Because usually it's not as common when you start, but then after a while it starts getting quite 
uh, very easy to find. Even then, no problem, it's a very precious commodity. Also, sorry if you guys can't see. I should probably be more aware of placing torches down for my viewers to see what I'm doing here. Because really, this is the one game where I get, like, technically one-on-one -on -one time with all you guys. So I kind of need to focus on that, I suppose, if you guys are fine with it. But meanwhile, it's night. Did you break loose? Wandering traders always having some problems, I swear. I don't see him at all, and I don't see the second llama. Well, time to get some sleep. I can ponder that over. And once we wake up, we'll begin our exploration. Right, I had some monster issues to take care of, but we should be all good now. So, let's start t looking around the place. Because we kind of did already set up our base, like, at the very start. We haven't really seen what's around. We know that there's... This is a spruce forest, basically. Oh, we have a skeleton in armor. I think you're some shining... You think you're some shiny, bony knight? Well, you're not. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're not burning. Hey! That's a pretty nice thing. They're not gonna last long, but it's still pretty nice. Again, there's all these, uh, mossy cobble things around, and it's kind of peculiar. What's that over there? What is that? <gasps> a fox! Ooh! I haven't seen a fox yet. This is the right area for them to spawn in, though. A big hole in the ground. It kind of leads out here, though. And some mushrooms. Might as well grab those, so I can do some things. If there's one thing that I don't seem to be good at, it's doing a farm with the mushrooms. Wait, I got four? What? Well, as long as I've got them. So this is a pretty steep cliff, but what was up there? I saw an ice spike or something. Whoa, that's a polar bear. Why is there a polar bear here? Excuse me? Why is there a polar bear here? Okay, you just chill. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be like a mini iceberg or something. So I know they have icebergs out on the sea. There will be like an entire icy area on the ocean, but this is... Interesting. I don't see a baby polar bear, so that's good. I don't have to worry about being mauled. But just seeing that polar bear in the woods itself was very odd. There's a lot of islands. There's another cave. I guess we can look in there real quick. Let me grab these brown mushrooms. Because... Got red ones, might as well grab the brown ones. I'll be able to make another source of food, mushroom uh, stew. Maybe do something else with these. I don't really know what else you can do with them, though. There's a lot of the brown ones, and not many red ones. Usually you find them more in the nether, right? I think so. So, let's go ahead... Pick them up. I think that's enough. Now, let's check out this little cave that I found down here. Uh... Oh. It's literally like a little hideaway cave. Not really much to explore there. Well, that's nice. I'll remember that. I see cactus over there, so that's gotta be a desert area. There's a little pond here? Wait, why am I eating raw fish? No. It's not ideal, but might as well go with this. It helps. Oh god, I've almost eaten through all of it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to head back home pretty soon, but we've gotten a good deal of exploration in. Black bunnies! I don't think I've ever seen them before, especially not in this forest. Very interesting. There's a river going. 
definitely a lot of stuff that I've kind of been missing out on. Yeah, it definitely looks like a desert over here with islands. Is that a sunken ship? What's over there under the water? I think that might be a ship. I'll have to remember that next time then, that there might be a ship or something over there. There's another wolf. I finally have one of my own, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. This is definitely an interesting world. You never know what's going to be in these Minecraft worlds. You, you never really should expect anything either. You'll find the most random stuff, but that's the beauty of it. So, plenty of trees out here, of course, especially the giant ones, because of all the pods all. Red mushrooms, yes! Please, let me take some of those. I need more. These ones are actually kind of far apart. I haven't seen any berries out here yet. I think those are only in the spruce, not... Well, I... I think this is technically the same. This is a taiga biome. I'm pretty certain the berry bushes should spawn here. So they're somewhere, I just don't know where they are yet, though. There's a lot of this coarse dirt. I'm running low on hunger again. A lot of ferns, of course. Actually, I could probably collect some of that mossy cobblestone needs to build something. This looks like a really good open place. This spot right here, I might have to mark this. This is a, this is a really nice place out here, like very open field amongst all these trees. Yeah, I'm gonna have to mark this. I'm gonna have to come back to this later. Because this is a very nice place. I'm trying my best here, but I really hope that this isn't too boring for people. Let's get a free disc there. Oh, there's cows. Cows and cows and cows. I got some more food. I'll we'll have to find some more cows eventually, though. Especially for, uh... If I'm gonna want to start an animal farm. Because that's another... That's a source to get milk, so... Definitely gonna need that soon enough. A lot of open, uh, open holes in the ground here, in this place. Whoa, that's deep. I don't feel like falling down there anytime soon. Um, there's more ocean. So this definitely almost, I'm pretty certain it is an island then. This is like a Taiga Island. <laughs> I live on Taiga Island. It's pretty, pretty convenient. Actually sounds really cool. More sheep. I can keep going with my carpet, perhaps. Come on, there we go. Of course, I know that there are bees out, but I don't think they'll spawn out here. Where I am. So, definitely gonna have to keep an eye out for beehives around the world. And there's more yellow flowers, I can use that for the dye. Definitely plan on getting a full carpeted floor soon. Well, it looks like the sun is starting to set. Looks like I better find my way back. Oh boy, my hunger isn't doing too good either. Well, it's gonna be a slow walk, but I should hopefully be able to get back home. Get out of the way, please. Um, because I keep going in one direction, so I should be able to go the direction back. Oh, my hunger is not looking good at all. This, and this dried kelp actually doesn't help me too much. Oh no. Oh god, I'm gonna die. This is not good. Home was this way, right? This is why I don't explore too much. Usually I'm not prepared for it. Well, there's a red mushroom there. I might as well snag it while I'm going back. Ooh, there's a lot. That's very nice. Even though I'm a one and a half hearts, I have one hunger bar left. That's not as friendly. But hey, you know what? All in the sake of exploration and content, am I right? Why is there a creeper in the tree? I never understood that, why you find creepers in trees or on the ground. Either way, it's horrifying. And I can't run. 
So if there's anything faster than me, I can't outrun it. This has gone into extreme crisis mode, but I think... Yep, there's light. There's my house. There's my house. There's the campfire. I'm gonna go put some fish on the fire then. I am about to starve. This is not good. This is very not good. Please. I'm so close to dying. This is not a good sign. Let's not end off on me utterly dying, please. So we have, I have this. Got plenty of mushrooms. So I can do some stuff with them now. That's only the beginning of exploring the Taiga Island, as I'm gonna call it now. And there they all go. Pop off. Where are they? There they are. Quick. Not like this. Okay. We're good, we're safe. And let's put this on as well. Let's put one fish. Okay, we're doing better. I still need to have full hunger to heal though, so there we go. So this island is looking amazing. Definitely some stuff I'm gonna have to look forward to soon. I'm gonna have to start thinking, putting it on my uh, list of what to do. But now I have... I actually don't think I have enough wool. No, I don't. But I should be able to dye it regardless. Yeah, give me that yellow dye. Oh, that's right, I can re-dye certain wool as well. I forgot about that. I hear... I heard a, uh, drowned. Fantastic. I think I made carpet, where is it? There it is! Hey, more carpet. Fantastic. So let's put that there. This little corner. Oh, there's a drowned. And a spider. Let me grab this food real quick. Before anybody can get to it. Yeah, I saw you guys. Oh, the spider. Yeah, sit on the fire. But, no. Alright. Managed to come back through in the end, so that's pretty awesome. Hopefully, ah! I almost got burned. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode here. I can't really think of much else to do. We've done some exploring, given a start. We've seen some of what uh, this world has to offer. So, let's hope that we can find more soon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys know what to do. And, yeah, hopefully this Minecraft can keep up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends, and bye bye